what's happening with you guys man make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button it don't cost you nothing man it don't cost you a penny it's free hit that subscribe button and that bell right there you hit that hit all notifications youtube will let you know every time i drop a video if you like content like this subscribe player don't be a hater let's go what's happening with my peoples man look today i bring you a video about the fresno bulldog seem to be a hot topic lately around youtube you feel me and uh we're gonna get right into this um this this uh, article it's an article man about the fresno bulldogs being indicted uh they had an inside man working with the army working in the army as a soldier and there was getting a lot of supplies from this dude man so uh peep game man and uh let's read this article it's from the associated press Investigation reveals how a Fresno street gang obtained army assault rifles. Authorities weren't looking for a military assault rifle when they went to investigate a domestic assault case, but they found one. It was in the garage of a Spanish tiled home that police dubbed upon the AK-47 its distinctively banana-shaped magazine loaded with 20 rounds was in a nearby storage container. AK-47s or AK-74s are similar to their more famous cousin, the AK-47. Every two seconds, they shoot three bullets because of how rapidly they fire. Civilians cannot legally possess them in the United States without a license. One of the thieves associated with the Fresno Bulldogs gang, the weapon recovered by chance in 2019 was stolen eight years before from Fort Ironwind. Iron Ironwind a base in the Mojave Desert where many soldiers trained before tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. The three thieves had access because they were military police, the soldiers who get the call when there was a break-in to get into the supply warehouse known as Building 934. They cut through a fence, forced open one door, and cut through another to enter the armed storage room. One of them was affiliated with the Fresno Bulldog Street Gang, Sergeant John Rodriguez said in an, inter in an internal interview that had joined the gang as a fifth grader but was no longer active. That was March 2011, four months before the heist of 26 AK-47 style assault rifles and sniper rifles. Whoa, time out. Look, bro, dude was a sergeant police officer in the United States military, and he was a Fresno bulldog that's nuts bro and it's uh let's continue reading then we'll talk about it after after the theft rodriguez and pfc harvey Dalvals the second took off nearly 300 miles to fresno to unload their haul at the home of an associate the two soldiers began calling potential buyers this is this was how the weapons of war made their way onto the streets of fresno the guns were among at the guns were among at least 1,900 U.S. military firearms that an Associated Press investigation found were stolen or supposedly lost within that decade. Whoa, time out again. 1,900 stolen fire. These Bulldogs were strapped. Let's continue reading. Authorities recovered gun in Bulldog's memory's garage. Authorities around Fresno recovered some of the guns quickly. Less than two weeks after the theft, agents tracked one down in a detached garage where a Bulldog member, Moses Zapian, lived with his girlfriend. The gun was on a shelf above their bed. Someone had tried to scratch off the serial number. The magazine with bullets was inserted. Zapian told authorities he bought it to protect his home from what considered the bargain price of $200. The garage was in a neighborhood that... A century ago housed a railroad depot boom town, but was now gang territory. Zappian said that he understood the source of the weapons was a Bulldogs member who worked at a military base and was putting one back on the streets for work for the gang. The gang started in prison and its members, blah, 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 blah. We're not getting into the prison shit. And it just talked about prison history. You guys already all know that shit. So we ain't going to talk about that. <clears throat> Next chapter. Real nigga shit. AK 74s reach gang hands and extend negotiation. Another AK 74s reached gang hands through an extended negotiation, according to what Rodriguez associate Nathan Grandos told federal investigators. 
About a week after the theft, Rodriguez and Grandos met in a back room of a tattoo shop with three street gang members who arrived in a white BMW SUV. Rodriguez brought one of the AK-74s inside to show and tell. The discussion was promising enough that the two groups reconnected later and continued to negotiate. Although around midnight, although they drove to a home for the exchange, Rodriguez went to the backyard cellar and retrieved six guns. The Bulldogs handed over 1400 and the deal was done. How many remain in the gang's hands is unclear to authorities. Some of the 26 guns have surfaced by, ha by happenstance in June 2012, and an insurance adjuster found one inside a vehicle that had been repossessed from a felon. The three soldiers were convicted in military courts and sentenced to between 6 and 20 years in prison. At least 14 civilians were charged. The case is now closed nearly a decade and a half later after... The theft, at least nine AK-74s, remain missing. So pretty much everyone started telling. And that's the end of the article. Um, you see the homies, I mean his homies, that got caught with the AKs in the garage. He started telling his statements right there. The the sergeant, the Mr. Officer Rodriguez, who was a military police officer in the United States Army, was a Fresno gang member and was supplying the guns to stealing guns from the u.s army and giving them to the bulldogs that is nuts bro for ak for 200 that's winning nigga what i take five right now <laughs> i'm just playing man i'm just playing i don't want nothing to do with that you feel me <laughs> but nigga that's a steal 200 dollars nigga for a fucking k sheesh where they do that at he just wanted to get him off quick, bro. It said within the last decade, they have 1,900 fucking guns stolen. That's nuts, bro. And if he had a lot to do with that and they only caught him on this so many, like, sheesh, that boy was moving a lot of guns, bro. And giving them specifically to the Bulldogs. I mean, what the fuck was they doing with them? You know what I'm saying? Um, Fresno ain't really. Fresno goes down. Don't get me wrong. Fresno goes down. But it's not. It's not one of the main, most violent cities in California. You feel me? Bakersfield way more with the activities than Fresno. You feel me? Uh, Sacramento, Stockton. You know, of course, in all the Southern California cities, is has a higher crime rate than Fresno. So I'm like, if you guys had all these guns, what the fuck are you doing with them? You feel me? Uh, but yeah, man, that's a lot of guns, bro. And of course, they all start telling on each other. Because dude, from 6 to 20 years from stealing guns from the United States military, nigga, and that's all you get? Niggas was definitely telling, bro. There's a whole lot of telling going on. I don't give a fuck what you say. You feel me? Uh, shout out to all the real niggas, man. Shout out to everyone still thugging. You feel me? With me doing that thing. You feel me? Hitting that subscribe button. Because you, man, you, you, you definitely the real ones. You feel me? You the solid ones, man. The, the haters ain't going to hit that subscribe button. But it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you niggas too, bitch ass niggas. You feel me? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> man, I'm gone, man. I just thought this was a dope article. I came across it and um, felt I had to share it with y'all because, man, that's a, niggas was moving real guns out there, bro. For real. Y'all stay ten toes down, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. It's the kid and I'm gone. You feel me? <laughs>